So whenever my videos get viewed by a large amount of people that are unfamiliar with my comments, I usually get a lot of comments that are like, oh, you're overanalyzing it. Oh, this is dumb. This is fake. This is a pseudoscience. This is like stationary astrology. So today I felt like addressing it. So hello, my name is Leah. I post videos about handwriting and handwriting analysis and whatever I want. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I want my play button this year, but that's not why we're here. I don't consider myself a very like academic person, but we're gonna be looking at different scientific research and journals and studies to demonstrate that no, it isn't just handwriting. Okay, in this article, handwriting change as a psychiatric symptom, they say graphology is the study and analysis of handwriting, especially in relationship to human psychology. Many neurological disorders affect handwriting. Many psychiatric disorders like depression, OCD, schizophrenia are also linked with handwriting. A unique presentation of major depressive disorder manifesting as chief complaint of handwriting change was observed in a girl who had nice handwriting before depression in spite of constant efforts, she was not able to revert back to her original handwriting. Her new handwritings were different from old, one in form of width and height of letters, organization, and overall presentation. She was prescribed antidepressants. Depressive symptoms were relieved, and her handwriting started gradually improving considerably, though previous level had not been achieved. Analysis of handwriting as a tool to understand the emotional state of a person can be implicated during psychiatric assessment. The written off science of graphology needs to be made specific and sensitive so that it could provide more accurate results. Further research in this area is wanted, is warranted. So that's just one. Here's another article. The uses of handwriting changes for the follow-up patients with BD. So in their results, they found a specific pattern of changes in the handwriting of their participants when going through a manic episode. And then they write the specific differences, what changes in the handwriting. In their conclusion, they write, writing is understood as a psycho neuromotor process affected by several factors. When one of these processes are, processes <laughs> are affected, Serious changes can occur in handwriting. Handwriting features can be used to screen patients for discharge and can be helpful for predicting when a patient with BD might switch into a manic episode. Also, we suggest that handwriting can be used to detect the motor side effects of antipsychotics in the early period. Then in this other study, handwriting analysis protocol for assessing severe major depressive disorder. It was a really confusing abstract, but in their agreement, they, they write psychiatric assessment and the ratings given by the judges, we found satisfactory results. They say the substantial improvements obtained in comparison, blah, 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 are encouraging and support further attempts. So basically they said um, handwriting used as protocol for assessing depression, they found positive results and they want to keep studying it. Then here's another study, relationship between stress, anxiety, and handwriting. This study focused specifically on handwriting pressure in relationship to anxiety and they concluded that handwriting pressure does in fact correlate to anxiety and then in this in this other study can handwriting help in the detection of children's traumatic sexual experiences in their conclusion they say the study concluded that the hypothesis was proved. It confirms that most children do have positive slash negative personality traits and irrational beliefs displayed in their handwriting. The presence and frequency of sexual abuse was clearly indicated in the same. So many, so, so my conclusion. So I just read you a bunch of, basically I just took a bunch of studies and kind of skips to the end of the book and found the conclusion and told you guys the conclusion. Handwriting analysis is discredited constantly because there aren't enough studies on it and there aren't enough studies on it because it is discredited constantly which in my opinion is a real shame all these studies are showing like really encouraging findings that graphology can be used as like an early detection in screening for different mental illnesses and, and different neurological conditions different psychological conditions if we knew more about it and we had more studies like being done then a lot of people could get help a lot faster. And if handwriting analysis can help detect these very serious conditions, then think about all the possibilities for how it could be helpful next. Thank you, subscribe.